Hi, I'm Shep Rose, and I'm here to talk a little bit about season three of Southern Charm. Thank you all for coming out to the Founders Ball. The bar is open. Go, drink, have fun. He's got money. I don't know how I can get any crazier, but it will. He's in magazine. You don't follow these rules, you're almost looked down upon. He's got more honey. We all mess up, and we all deserve second chances. Honey, honey Season three is, everybody's sort of in a different camp and there's there's some fireworks. Um, we've done this for two years now and you try to remain nice and, and, and genteel like we do in the South, but eventually people start, uh, the real colors start to show through. People are starting to take sides and become a little bit uh, uh, angry with one another, so. I think it's a little darker, and I and and I guess when we were filming that, it it felt darker. So that that's my uh, two cents. I could be wrong. I felt like I got off pretty easy on that. Um, I mean, I am dating around. <laughs> like I don't try to make a secret of that, but um, I just didn't like the way he spoke to Cameron who he has nothing against and no reason to be acrimonious towards. And then what he said to Landon was absolutely absurd because he accused her of being catty towards Catherine. However, it takes two to tango. Catherine's upset because he, because Thomas and Landon had been spending time together. Now, you know, how can he get mad at the person that he's spending time with that his baby mama is, you know, it just didn't make sense, and I, it just angered me. I think it's a full-scale Cold War these days between uh, Thomas and Catherine. That's what I hear. Um, but they've gotten back together so many times, I, no one knows what to believe anymore. But some of the things that were been said, uh, I think you can't take back and can't be forgiven. Let's hope that they've come to some amicable uh, situation and everyone's happy, but there's no way with those two everyone's going to be happy. <laughs>